Hey, what's going on guys? Hayden here, bringing you another tutorial for Designs Academy, and uh, this tutorial will be on a uh, new style that I uh, recently made, and uh, I'm going to do a, uh, a two-part series on uh, how to make this. So this, I'm going to show you a couple examples that I've made with this type of banner. So this is the very first one. It's a sore banner, but uh, as you can see, this, uh, this type of style consists of a very bright, uh, material, nice color correction, all that, which I'll show you in this series how to do uh, lines. It's going to require a couple plugins, which uh, we'll go through in a second. And uh, here is the other example I've done. Uh, I kind of like this banner a little more than this one, uh, but they're both the same style. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. So, first off, uh, I'm just going to get my AI. Um, I'm not going to use my logo. I'm going to use. Oh, uh, maybe phase. Well, no. Obey. We're gonna use the obey logo. So, what you want to do is uh, you have your AI here, and uh, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna fill it in with our path by uh, going here, going strubner. And uh, how many ever paths you have, you're just gonna do this and uh, drag it in, and that's all you do to make things 3D with your logo. Um, so now, uh, now that we have our thing, uh, the edges are really sharp and it does not look good. So we're gonna go into caps, fill a cap, and uh, we're gonna set each step to two. Uh, now this is a nice little preset that uh, makes the uh, logo look pretty nice and with the gray so it's not so sharp and uh, we're gonna go into object set the uh, depth to 45 which is the far right and uh, now that we've done that I'm just going to position this about right here I'm gonna drag it back a little bit and then I will go over the plugin so we're gonna go oops about right here will work I'm just gonna close this and uh, I'm gonna go over the plugins. So uh, what you're gonna need is um, uh, Nitro Blast, Reaper X, and Umami. Umami, Umami. I still can't pronounce that, but those are the three plugins you're gonna need. Um, uh, if you don't know how to use these plugins, I made I made tutorials on how to use all of these. So uh, if you want, you could go check these out later on after this video so now that we have our logo here uh, what we're gonna do first is uh, we're gonna get our ball behind it so we're gonna go landscape and uh, you're gonna have your landscape here and we're gonna check uh, spherical in the object tab and it's gonna make this uh, sphere like nice like not smooth rock so now that you have your uh, ball here uh, what we're going to do is uh, drag it behind the logo like so and uh, we're going to just kind of make a something along the lines of this and maybe put one about right, mm, about right here and I'm just going to get all the landscapes move it over a little bit about right here and uh, we're going to take our logo and get a nice angle on it so I might do something along the lines of this Something like that. I like that. Just kind of drag it right here in front. Keep it. We don't want to have it, but like in the rocks at all. So we want to have it in front, like so, like this. And um, now that we have this, uh, now we're gonna do use our uh, materials. So uh, first off, I'm gonna get my uh, my concrete material. If you want to get this material, you can buy it at my store. Uh, at selfie.com uh, slash zebs and uh, it's the very first material pack and you get this nice material which I'll render it out really fast to show you so uh, this style it's actually not that like it doesn't take much time to render on your computer uh, when you're rendering it which is good because usually a lot of like things take hours to render if you don't have a, a beast computer so well, but that's what the material looks like and uh, now that we have this uh, we're going to get our cell 
and we're just going to drag it on each one of these and go cubic cubic seamless and uh, that will make a nice looking bright background thing for when the color correction comes in so we're just gonna I'm actually gonna drag this down a little bit like so and uh, now that we have that what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna duplicate our uh, text like so uh, duplicate it and then we're gonna go into this flower looking thing and go add a array and uh, now that will uh, give you a nice looking outline and with this outline set the cylinder radius to one and the sphere radius to one and that's gonna give you a nice looking outline and uh, what you're gonna put over that is uh, the uh, the material that you used for the landscape and we're gonna set these to cubic and then seamless you always want to do that with uh, textured materials uh, actually I think I'm gonna make the outline 0.5 it's a little too big so set these to 0.5 and uh, that'll give you a nice looking outline. And now that we've done that, now what we want to do is we want to go, oh, actually let's Nitro Blast it first. So we're gonna duplicate this again. And uh, once you have Nitro Blast installed, if you wanna know what version to get, cause uh, not all the versions are kinda different, get 1.0, uh, that's usually the version, uh, that's the version I learned how to use Nitro Blast, so I just use that version. But anyway, quality is probably gonna be set to medium. You wanna set it to high, and if you have a beast computer, set it to extreme. And set the pieces to 200 and just click fracture. Now, if you've never used Nitro Blast before, if you look at the bottom left, it, it tells you the percent of what it's breaking up on each null. So now that's done. Uh, usually, it's going to look like uh, this. Hold on, like, uh, like this. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to drag your nice concrete grunge material over that and you want to do that the same way with the yellow so now we're gonna set all these to cubic seamless same for these it's already cubic seamless and we're, once you have that we're gonna go MoGraph fracture and then open this up like so I've been saying like so a lot I don't know I like saying that word <laughs> but you want to select all the pieces and you want to drag it into the fracture and you can delete this for organization reasons and open it up and um, if you want a quick way instead of, instead of dragging, dragging the pieces in individually just select the very bottom one, click it scroll to the very top, to the very first piece, the zero piece hold shift and click this and it will select all the pieces and you can just drag that into the fracture and delete this so now that you have your fracture you want to click the fracture Go MoGraph, Effector, Random. And now you're going to have all these broken up pieces, and we're going to set the strength down a bunch, something to 2%. And I'm just going to pre render this out to see if I like the way it looks, if I have to raise the strength or lower the strength or something. Strength, something like that. So, uh, strength is good. Uh, well, actually, I actually might raise the strength up to 4 I'm going to quickly pre-render it out, check what it looks like, um, there we go, I like that, has a good look. So now that we have done this, now what we want to do is we want to go into our plugins, go Umami, Umami, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, and you want to go into Spline, and you want to set the these bottom three to 360, which is a good little preset to use. 360, good. And uh, you want to go mesh, and then you want to go into this thing, this uh, orange line looking thing, and you want to go circle. And uh, you're going to go into the mesh, and you're going to notice this blank profile spline. You want to click the circle, drag it into the profile spline, and you're going to notice this huge thing coming up. And uh, we're going to select that, we're going to go into object radius, and go 10. That's usually what I use for my size. And you're going to go back into the Umami, the spline maker. And you're going to set it in the thing. So it's already in it. So actually, I'm going to put it in the middle. So about right there. Good. And uh, we're going to go into this, go spline, and we're going to raise the number of splines to uh, 37. And number segments, uh, let's go five. 
And uh, with this, we're going to use the cell number two material. We're going to go cubic, seamless. And now once you have this, we are going to uh, duplicate this, like so. And uh, we're going to set, uh, set the uh, splines to 15 prime. And we are going to, wait, are these exactly the same? Yes, okay. So we're going to change this to 180. 180 again, and 180. And uh, that's gonna give you a nice look. And we're going to drag our concrete material on this one, it's like this. And uh, I'm actually going to raise the number of splines up. So maybe, uh, something like this. That has a nice look to it. And uh, now we're going to implement Reaper X by uh, doing something like this. And we're going to go plugins. This is optional, by the way. You could render this out and it'll still have a nice look. But here's the go to the extra effort. So you want to drag the spline into the Reaper X and you're going to notice this rope look. You want to set the strands to about one. And then you want to bring the radius down to about um, eight. And you don't want it to be super curvy like this. So you want to raise it to about four. We're going to set the coils to four. And we're just going to uh, put the cell material onto this cubic seamless. And we're going to set it behind this. We're going to duplicate it due to like an X, kind of. Something around, around the, something, something around the lines of this. So, now we have this nice looking render. Um, uh, like I said, it does not take too much time to make. It's really simple, and it does not take that much time to render. So, if you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, um, stay forward, or look forward to the second part, which will be next Sunday on my next tutorial that I uh, the next part will be uh, the blending, the particles, lighting, uh, and how to make the... Uh, hold on, let me open it up so I could show you. Uh, I'm going to go crown Banners, and it's right here. I'm going to show you how to make the... Uh, whoops. Not this banner. There we go. Uh, how to make like this blue and red look and uh, To get that nice blur. I'm gonna have blur all that I'll show you guys how to do all of them So hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, look forward to the next one and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace